Happy Thanksgiving. We still haven't gotten the smell of turkey out of the studio. <laughs> I'm looking Cromer, and I can't stand the smell of turkey. This anchor can somewhat stand it. My name is Tyson Witten. Let's get into the news. The window to donate for Toys to Tots is rapidly closing. Any more donations are appreciated. The last day is December 6th, so be sure to donate any new unwrapped toys to this good cause. Teens Against Tobacco Use, or Tattoo, is a club for non-smokers that advocate the end of tobacco use. Please see the sign-up forms located outside of room 126 and in the girls' locker room. Please see Mrs. Stoltzfus with any questions. Sure. Family and friends are cool and all, but spending money, spending your hard-earned money on something you can only justify with a lower price and showing it off to said friends and family is even better. With that, we sent Luca Gisoni to discover the perfect method for Black Friday shopping. Hey, Wildcats. With the leaves falling, we are all reminded of how ruthless holiday shopping can be. Luckily, the Friday after Thanksgiving is here to rescue our wallets. I'm Luca Gisoni with the Paw Report, and here's my guide to Black Friday shopping. First of all, all adults going through a midlife crisis are known to get a little rowdy during Black Friday, so it's important to stay safe. I recommend wearing a helmet, goggles, long sleeve clothes, a mask, sneakers, and a backpack with your belongings. Now that I'm all dressed up in my gear, here are some good stores to shop at. For electronic gifts, go hit up your Best Buy. If you want to shop for some furniture, go hit up some Ikea. And if you want to get some good old toys, just go take a trip to your local Target. Well, I hope you guys have a fun and safe time shopping this Black Friday. I'm Luca Gizzoni with the Paw Report. Have a good one, Wildcats. Thanks, Luca. And good luck to all those who, who will be burning the midnight oil waiting for some reasonably priced PC parts. My favorite part about Thanksgiving, the abundance of food and just going back to get more stuffing and gravy. Last Thursday, we sent Hannah Wiley to see what the Best Buddies Club had on their table during their Thanksgiving feast. Hello, OJR. I'm Hannah Wiley reporting for the Paw Report. Today, I'm here at the Best Buddies Thanksgiving Feast. Let's check it out. The Best Buddies Thanksgiving Feast is a great way for club members and their buddies to get together and celebrate Thanksgiving with tons of great food and fun activities. I'm here with Emma Gubonic, one of the members of the Best Buddies Club. So, Emma, how long has Best Buddies been holding the Thanksgiving Feast? They've had this feast for over 15 years now. What's your favorite part about the Thanksgiving feast? Um, just eating with your buddy, having a lot of fun, meeting new people. What kind of food do you guys have here today? Uh, we have everything you could possibly think of. Turkey, ham, stuffing, mashed potatoes, salad. What food did you bring in for today? I brought a big pumpkin pie, so I'm really excited for it. That sounds really good. Thank you for letting me interview you today. Thanks for having me. The Best Buddies Thanksgiving feast was a blast. This has been Hannah Wiley reporting for the Paw Report. Have a happy Thanksgiving, OJR. That looked absolutely delicious. Thanks, Hannah. A nice short show to roll right into the break. Stay as safe as the pardon turkeys, OJR. And I just learned that their names are peanut butter and jelly. My day is made. 